Also new at 6 o'clock, a former bank manager accused of embezzling millions of dollars is out of jail tonight. You saw it first on 2 News this morning. Tonight, Amy Scarpelli is being monitored electronically, but again, she's out of jail. 2 News investigates Natalie Townsend has been digging into exactly why she was released. A lot of people asking that question. Natalie, what have you learned? Absolutely. Well, I spoke with Scarpelli's attorney today who tells me her release into house arrest was a combination of her lack of record and the cost. Former Miamisburg U.S. Bank manager Amy Scarpelli will be serving some long days inside a home where she's required to stay with the help of an electronic ankle bracelet. She's accused of embezzling $5.2 million over four years from the bank. Investigators say she had been drawing off a business line of credit that was not in use by creating fake loans. They say she was adjusting paperwork so it looked like those loans were paid back. Investigators say she knew how to bypass the security measures in place. Two News Investigates asked her attorney, Denny Gump, why she was allowed to leave jail. I'm a taxpayer, and if I'm paying what it costs to house an inmate at Butler County or even Montgomery County per day, uh, maybe $75, $85 a day, when you can hook up for electronic home monitoring for $3.69 a day. Gump says home monitoring is not an option for everyone. But here you have a first time offender, never been in trouble before in the law. Uh, and you have two counsel retained for her that the judges know, and they know our clients are going to show up. Gump says Scarpelli will now get a chance to review all the evidence against her. It's possible the case will go in front of a grand jury, but Gump is hoping for a different outcome. We hope it does not have to be indicted. We hope that we can meet with the U.S. Attorney's Office, myself and Mr. Greger, uh, and work out some arrangement that's satisfactory to everybody, including the Secret Service, the government, and the public. Now, Gump tells me since Scarpelli has waived her right to a speedy trial, no action will be taken before December 1st. And we also note there may be other arrests in this case. We'll keep you posted. Natalie Tendall, 2 News, investigates.